Welcome to the fourth episode of Roll Notes. This is the series where every episode we go and explore a new location and take lots of photos. In this episode, we'll be checking out Palm Springs. Palm Springs is a desert resort city located about two hours out of LA. It's known for its beautiful mid-century modern architecture and design that makes for some really fun subjects to photograph. This isn't my first time in Palm Springs, but it's always a blast being here. Today I'll be spending the majority of my time exploring the residential neighborhoods looking for some scenery to photograph amongst the beautiful homes and cars. This would be really nice to hit with a flash, but I forgot it at home. Our day was off to an interesting start when I was reloading my camera and we were approached by a stranger who was asking if we wanted to come photograph outside of their house. Oh, are you sure? That'd be amazing. I would love to check it out. You don't mind he's filming? Yeah, thanks so much. We walked into the backyard and there was a really nice pool along the mountain range. It was definitely super interesting being offered this, no questions asked about what we were doing. Look at these little rose petals in the pool. And although there wasn't really anything back there that I was too excited to photograph, it was incredibly kind of a stranger to offer to just let us into their home with our cameras. And I definitely appreciated that. I like the little duck. It's so pretty. I'm just using some of this as a little bit of foreground because there's not too much going on here, but I think this makes for some nice layers. Oh, I think between like the, this in the foreground, the house in the middle, and the mountains in the background, that's like a really nicely layered frame right there. I also want to get one without this because I like the triangle shadow that the house is casting. Super cool. Another roll down. Okay, it is 111 degrees out here right now. We've only been outside of the car for like five minutes, but I feel like I'm cooking like a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. The old cars along every house in Palm Springs is something that's definitely hard to miss if you're ever visiting. Visually, I think these cars complement the architecture really nicely, and as much as it is a cliche, it's also just really fun to shoot. I couldn't resist this Studebaker, I think it really makes the photo, it adds a nice pop of color, and it's just not something you see every day. Wow. That car is gorgeous. That's nice. This is the kind of stuff when you come to Palm Springs, like you just have to shoot it. Like there's no way you can drive by this and not shoot it. So oh, cool. The, the amount of like layers that you can get here is just incredible with all the palm trees and the mountain range in the background. The unfortunate and kind of also a great thing about Palm Springs is this mountain range, which 
after like, I mean, it obviously looks beautiful, but after 6 p.m. it pretty much blocks all of the light. So I think we have about 10 or 15 minutes left of light. And we came to the trailer park here, which has some of the most beautiful and extravagant trailers that I've ever seen. Um, I think we'll try to walk on foot here, but definitely in Palm Springs, if you want some golden light, probably the best way to do it is sunrise, which I'm not committed enough for. So I do have to say, I think Palm Springs looks beautiful in some harsh afternoon light just because of the architecture. I think it complements it really nicely, but let's see what we can get in these last 15 minutes here. Yeah, let's start this way. We spent the last 15 minutes of good light running around this trailer park looking for some interesting scenery. I'm looking for anything here that stands out between all the different homes. I loved seeing the different decorations that people had put up in front of each home. It was also just an incredibly dense neighborhood, which I think really worked in my favor here because I feel like we saw so much variety in the last few minutes of good daylight. It's like this was just put here to be photographed, you know what I mean? Let's go, we're really running out of light now. Oh, come on. This chair is actually one of my favorite scenes of the day. I don't know why it feels really cinematic. I can imagine someone sitting here telling a story. And I also love how the light interacted with this scene. This is definitely something where I wish the light was a little bit more golden, but I love the fallen leaves on the ground. They're so pretty. I love the light coming through this tree right here. This is definitely just something I wish I could get at golden hour though. But I know that this light is sort of the best that it's going to get here. Could you even hear me over that tree or what? That tree is just so nice. Sweet. Walk and reload. Something I love to do while I'm out on location is listen to some music from the sponsor of this series, which is Musicbed. Musicbed is an incredible all-in-one platform to find music for your next video project. My favorite thing about Musicbed is that it doesn't just sound like stock music. Their selection consists of real music artists, many of who I already enjoyed listening to way before I even started using Musicbed. Their mobile app allows me to start listening to songs while I'm still out on location. This always helps me to get ahead on my editing process. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description to check out Musicbed and use my code Willem at checkout to get your first month free when you sign up for an annual individual subscription. Thank you to Musicbed for the continued support and for making this Roll Notes series possible. Thank you so much to Marty for filming, and thank you so much to you for watching the episode. We'll be back soon with episode five.